Ebola is a type of skin infection which starts as an infected hair follicle. Ebola is an infected hair follicle which starts out as a red tender bump. These bumps are typically located on the back of the arm or leg or in the genital area. A skin infection may occur when bacteria enters the air follicle and begins to multiply. But are you aware that you can easily get a boil on your ankle? This kind of ankle carbuncle is not common, but if you happen to get one, it might be very difficult to treat. Hi, this is Onis from AmeriGym.com. Today, I will be discussing about what you need to do before you lance a boil and how to lance a boil safely. A staph infection is a bacteria infection that can happen in many different parts of the body. The most common area for a staph infection to occur is in the nostril or on the skin, which is known as MRSA. Folliculitis is a common infection of the hair follicle. If left untreated, it can lead to inflammation of the hair follicles or sores on the skin. The symptoms of folliculitis are different for everyone and they can last anywhere from a two to three weeks to six months. Two or more air follicles can get infected, resulting in a cluster of boils in the same area known as a carbuncle. This skin condition can affect any part of your body, but it is common on the face, tights, buttocks, legs, and back. Like I said before, you can also get a boil on your ankle. Ankle boils are painful and difficult to treat unless you take an immediate action to prevent bacteria infection. Pharyncus start out as a small tender red bump on your skin followed by a gradual pulse formation and eventually the formation of dead skin cells. The bump becomes swollen and painful. The more it swells, the more you feel the pain. A boy can take different length of time to heal. It takes around uh, five days for it to form, then another three days to burst out after that. Generally, most boil will be gone in about a week, but some boils can be very difficult to treat if they are infected with bacteria. A small boil or skin abscess will often heal on its own without leaving any scar while a larger ball will most likely leave scars. Unlike ankle boy, some boys doesn't uh, cause serious harm and can heal on their own. If you decide to lance a ball, make sure you watch the entire video to the end and follow all the steps to get the best result. Let's get started. Boil a pot of water with or without Epsom salt to moderate temperature. Be careful not to get burned and make sure you don't accidentally make the water too hot and damage your skin tissue. Soak a soft piece of cloth in the warm water and squeeze the excess water out. 
Then press the wet warm cloth against your skin. Do this several times until the water loses its heat. Then dump out the water. This treatment is useful because as the body temperature rises, it increases blood supply to that area and also make the infection clear up faster and allow the ball to come out to the head so that it can be easily drained. When this happens, the skin will start to turn red and pus will soon collect on the surface. This will make it easy to lance a boil and for its contents to drain out. Now, get ready to lance the boil. Step 1 is for you to prepare. You should wash your hands, clean, and then dry them out. You can also put on some non-porous gloves such as latex gloves. The skin around the ball should be clean with an alcohol pad. This will remove any oil or makeup on the skin surface. Next, you should sterilize the area by wiping it dry with a sterilized gauze pad. To identify the severity of a ball, you need to fill for a soft area of the boil. This will be an indicator of how deep it is on the skin. Clean the area with soap or povidone iodine. If you don't have iodine on hand, just use alcohol. It can also work just as well. Afterwards, you can numb the area with lidocaine if you have it on hand or just use cold pack for a few minutes. The second step is to sterilize a clean knife tip. Just put it uh, on the fire until it become red hot. Let it cool down completely and don't forget to use alcohol to clean the wound. Lay a piece of gauze or clean cloth under the ball so that the pores flow out onto it. The third step is to drain an infected pores from a ball. Cut the skin at a 90 degree angle. You should only have to insert the sterilized knife or scalpel an inch or less. After that, wait for some pores to come out. If the knife does not easily cut through the skin, press down on the knife until it does. If pain becomes too much, stop trying to cut and wait for the discomfort to subside. If pus is present alongside your infection, it is likely that pus will build up near the wound and push its way out through the opening. Once the pus has flowed out, you may want to angle the knife or blade a little and completely cut through the side to open up the boil. Then remove the knife. Let the boil drain. To remove pus from a wound, place a piece of fabric under the wound and hold it there. When bleeding diminishes, clean the wound and discard contaminated material. An abscess is a lesion that can form anywhere on the body and contain Staphylococcus bacteria. The bacteria from 
abscesses can be contagious. Finally, after the ball is drained, apply mupirocin ointment. Keep using the heat. If the wound closes before the infection heals, unfortunately, you may need to reopen it again. Ankle boils are difficult to treat. I always tell people that prevention is better than cure. You should know the causes of boils and infection on your skin to avoid getting one. I will leave a link at the bottom of this video for some medication that can help you out. Make sure you watch the next video coming up where I discuss in details causes of ball and how to avoid them.